seemed to have a pretty good start in the first two and a half minutes, but then it looked like Washington took over from there. What, what do you think happened? Well, we didn't. Uh, we certainly didn't execute our our game plan, um, and we didn't execute. You know, when we had the puck, making the the right plays. So, you know, that's a that's a good hockey team over there who um, outplayed us tonight. So, um, you know, I guess the. In hindsight, I mean, we were in the same position after last round and found a way to respond. So, um, but it, it's a missed opportunity. You get home ice, and you want to take advantage of, and we didn't. So, we, we, you know, we need to get next game. Sam, did the long layoff have any effect on your guys' start? Um, I, I, you can't use that as an excuse. So, um, we, uh, for whatever reason, uh, they, they were they were quicker uh, to pucks. They were more disciplined in, in their structure. They were better on special teams, and um, that's a pretty good recipe to, to win. So we, we know we have to be much better, and we'll get back at it tomorrow at practice and um, and respond. We, we just need to be way more assertive on the ice and um, play with that that edge that we had, you know, after game one of last series. How do you describe it? momentum sort of swing there at the end of the first period when the goal gets nullified and then they turn around and, and score with about three seconds left? Yeah, I mean, we were six men by a mile, so I, I don't think anyone was too f fired up about the the goal. It was kind of blown dead for for a while, but you know, anytime you give up a goal at, a, at the end of a period, it, it gives momentum to the other team, and that's just execution. I mean, we we can't, uh, you know, right off the draw, we know what what they're going to do. They're, they're you know they're trying to get it to to Ovechkin for a shot, and we uh, we were just a step behind in um, our reads today, and. You can't do that at this time of the year at, against a quality opponent like that. Is that a lack of mental preparation? Listen, call it what you want. We we, we need to be better next game. It it, uh, it just wasn't good enough tonight. And um, you know, it's the playoffs. You're down one game. It's not. You need to respond next game. Was there anything that they did that kind of caught you off guard? Thank you, Bob. Shift the momentum, change the game. Yeah, I mean that was obviously part of it. Giving up a, a late power play goal there with. Uh, Couple seconds left, but um, I mean the whole game wasn't wasn't good enough for where we need to be at this time of year. Um, you know, all areas of our game we need an improvement there. So it's uh, obviously that's that's a part of it, but um, by no means was that the uh, tipping point or uh, where momentum turned. I don't think we you know we had a had a good enough game the the entire sixty there. Ryan, not playing for almost a week. Did the long layoff have any effect on you guys? I mean, uh, it's twice in a row. I I don't think it does, but. Um, you know, for whatever reason, now against Boston and now against Washington, it, it happens. So, um, you know, that's on us. We have to be better prepared and, and, and you know, be ready to go. Uh, again, I felt like we were ready to go in Boston game. I felt like we were ready to go here, um, you know, with the work we put in before uh, before both those games. But uh, for whatever reason, we, we're not and um, just have to put it behind us now. Uh, we've been in this situation for, unfortunately. You don't want to be, but... Um, you don't have to look too far to, to draw back on uh, the way we responded against Boston. We have to do the same here. Good. In the first right. period or the end of the first oh, I, I wasn't on the ice, but that's uh, a quick bang bang play. Killer's trying to block it, makes a good shot. Dan, the playoffs are always about adjustments. What, what can you kind of quickly read off of this game that you need to adjust to in the next game? Yeah. Well, whatever we did tonight, we got to do the exact opposite on Sunday. Um, you know, it, it just you know wasn't we didn't play our game at all. They they did what we should have did. They were on top of us, gave us no time and space. You know, had a lot of ozone time, and uh, you know we just couldn't get get through them and get a four check sustained. And uh, yeah, just got to regroup and have a has have a good start on Sunday. Do you take anything out of the third period? Well, you take a little bit, but obviously they have a four nothing lead. They're not going to try anything special and, and you know take too many risks. And um, you know we we were a little better, we were a little above, give them less time. But uh, you know, th that needs to start from uh, you know shift one and work from there. When you see six men on the ice like that to nullify a goal, is there a, is there a lack of mental preparation? Oh, oh I'm not, I'm not really sure. Um, it's, it's tough, you know. Obviously, Cooch puts one in, but we have six guys on the ice and. Um, yeah, you know, it was kind of the story of the night, you know, kind of just doing it to ourselves, not making plays, not getting pucks out. And, um, yeah, we just didn't do a very good job tonight at all. What's the feeling in the locker room moments after something like that happened? Well, not great. Um, uh, you know, we need to just 
You know, one of the good thing about playoffs, you need to have a short-term memory. Uh, luckily, we have another game at home coming up here in uh, 48 hours, and you know, just gotta, you know, just play our game, and uh, we'll be okay. Are you surprised by the start at all? I know you guys played so well the last series, and you get talked all week about you know, making sure that you know, get ready to go. Oh well, yeah, I was very surprised. You know, we you know we knew what happened in Boston, mm -hmm. but uh, you know we did. You know, we talked a little. We had a lot of scoring chances and created some stuff, but just you know that was just you know wasn't our night, but. Uh, tonight's a little different. Uh, they dictated the play. They played way better than us. They were they were on top. They, you know, made all the simple plays, got pucks deep, and um, you yeah, know we didn't do any of that and just fed their transition all night. With the Caps power play, how can you combat that? Chris, what did you think about tonight? Uh, I mean, they were they were sharp. They were uh, you know the better team tonight. Uh, obviously, we got to stay out of the box with the power play that they have, but. Um, yeah, they, we have to be better. They they played a great game, put us on our heels. They uh, probably feel really successful in their first two periods. So uh, it's something we got to do a better job of getting to our game plan when they're dictating the pace and play and we're putting pucks places. It, it's tough to get into your rhythm. Something we have to break early and have a, a better start to a game. Chris, how deflating was that? Just a lot of goal by Cooch and Um I mean, I think we all knew we had six guys on the ice before it went in. I didn't even know he scored. But um, yeah, I mean, if you could have hypothetically thought that was going to go in and then they turn around and score one three seconds later obviously it's uh, at the end of a period which is a key time in a game um, they capitalize on a power play which you know is really really potent and deadly so we have to you know game plan do a better job but execute a lot better was it game one can kind of be a feeling out process in some ways what, what kind of a feel did you get for where you have to improve the game two? Uh, everywhere I mean they, they turn pucks up quick put pucks behind us and and dictated the way the game was going to be played. That's something that we, you know, had success in the other teams. We have to uh, raise our elevation of, of what we can do out there. But um, yeah, give them credit. We, they, uh, they took game one on us. We have to be better if we're going to be in the series. Chris, you've been in this playoff position before, and obviously lost the game one. How much have you guys leaned on your experience in this sort of situation? Uh, yeah, thank you know, thankfully it is a seven-game series. It's not a one game in and out, but. Um, yeah, I mean, you're going to try to feel it out. Hopefully you jump right in. You don't kind of test the water. I think we tested the water a little too much. Uh, they they were obviously on their game right away from the beginning to be able to uh, jump out to that 2-0 lead and get your team feeling good. We didn't uh, put a lot of pucks at their goalie and uh, didn't test them all that well or all that much. So we have to you know execute better, try to be better, but obviously uh, try and slow them down too. How much did they win the game in the neutral zone and slowing them down and not allowing you to get in there? Uh, they, they did a good job of turning pucks up, getting up from um, the other side of us. Uh, yeah, obviously, their their D jumped up quite a bit. Um, they created, you know, numerous two on ones, three on twos, four on threes. Um, you know, they're jumping. Give them credit. They they played a, a good, a really good playoff, solid road game. The score is what it is in the third period. But can you take anything out of that third period to kind of build on for the next game? Uh, that we need to be better. Uh, if we expect to be in this series against a really good dynamic team that has lots of skill, we have to uh, execute better. Uh, arrive on, on, on dumps, be better at putting pucks areas and, and putting pucks around their goalie. We didn't really test them. We didn't get second, third chances. We have to you know, try and dictate the pace of play. Did they catch you off guard at all in any way? I mean, just trying to adjust in the third period to what they brought in the first two? Um, I mean, we well. just didn't We didn't have that jump that we needed. They came out and, 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 and took it to us. That's something that, you know, in your own rink, if we had some time off, we should have been better. Uh, that's the area where we should have been on each other on the bench early on, but uh, it crept into our game. We have to, you know, go out and practice tomorrow, look at the tape, see what we can do better to try and change uh, the tempo and, and how they're coming at us. Chris, the first two and a half, three minutes, uh, the, the puck was in their end uh, most of the time. You seemed like you get off to a good start, but then there was a quick change. What, what, what do you think? Um, I think we passed up a lot of opportunities to put pucks um, on the net, create those rebounds, create those long shifts, things that we had success doing. Uh, but, you know, trying to find those second, third chances, extending a shift, those are things that, that you know, we do uh, quite frequently that, that kind of tilt the ice in our favor. And we didn't do that. We were kind of one and out or tried to go one on one, and they turned the puck over and, and evidently came at us in, in the waves that we want to do it. So we have to, you know, uh, try to regroup game plan, but know that we're in a series. It's uh, going to be a, a tough, hard fought series. Did they raise their intensity at that point and maybe you guys not <coughs> match it? Um, I think they just, yeah, they came out wanting to win a game more than we did. I think that, that they they dictated the way the game was played and I wouldn't lean too much into the third period because they're up by four goals. They're, uh, you know, going to be on the right side of the puck all the time. So we have to go out there and, and change the way we're going to think and going to play the game when we, you know, step on the ice in game two. Chris, are you 
Uh, it's, it's both. Um, if you don't have extra guys on the rush with you to, to generate that offensive or put pucks in, mm-hmm. in, uh, in behind them and, and arrive on pucks at the right time, then it makes it tough to, to sustain any pressure. Uh, so that's a good job by them by getting back on pucks and moving pucks up quick past you. So it's a, it's a, you know, it's a kind of a chess match of yeah. how you do things and if you can put pucks uh, in behind them and arrive on it. Uh, if they can get it before it and move it past us, then they're going to have yeah. those odd man rushes. And that was the thing against Boston, right? I mean, every time they de return, you guys seem to be right in their face. I, right, and that's something that you know, we got to be a skating team. We got to look yeah. like we're playing fast, and it's not necessarily you know burning guys in the neutral. Mm-hmm. And it's arriving and being in in certain areas at the right time. And and, and you know their D did a great job of moving the puck, but also jumping past our guys. We were a little sleepy on uh, on trying to you know maybe finish checks, and they were jumping past. Great, thanks. Thank you. Uh, on the Ovechkin goal, yeah. you know, just take, I mean, that's a quick bang bang play. You're coming out to block it. Yeah. I mean, just take us, take me through. No, I mean, it's a play that we scouted. We know that the, it's a play that they do. It's just, it just happened so quickly that it's kind of tough to get um, body position, especially with when Eller is kind of trying to set a pick there. Um, you know, it's just one of those things where I probably have to jump out quicker on him. You've been through this uh, with the first series. We had some time to rest before Boston and came out slow in game one. Do you look at this as the same, similar situation, even though uh, you might have outplayed uh, Boston in terms of just shots on goal and all that? Or well, you have it against Washington? Well, it's, it's different in that sense because we, scoring chance-wise against Boston, we, we had more than them. It seems like um, tonight we got outplayed by um, the Capitals. So uh, similar in the sense that we weren't, we weren't ready, but... Um, you know, Boston, at least we, we played a little harder. On, the, on that, that goal, I mean, forget about the, the fact that Kucherov's goal plays off because you guys had six guys on the ice, but that swing right there, him scoring two seconds into a power play a couple of seconds before the end of the period, how deflating is that? What is that like when you come in the room after that? You know? Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough, you know, especially when there's, there's not much time left in the period. Um, you want to just, you want to get a block there. You want to stop them from scoring, but... Um, you know, it was one of those things where throughout the game, I think they they outplayed us in all in, in all periods. So, that Ovechkin goal is it more of him or said to, to pick on you, or you kind of not kind of overcommit because you know if you go to Ovechkin, then you can just pass it to Eller in the. Uh, no, it's there. just it happened so quick. I tried to get out there as fast as I can, and um, Eller's body position kind of brought me out to the right a little bit, and uh, you know, I I still think I gotta get, I just gotta get out, just go straight out to him. Dan Girardi was saying, you know, they raised their intensity level just maybe five minutes into the first period that you guys didn't match it. Why would you say that is? Why can, can you explain that? Um, I don't know. I think they, you know, we'll give them credit. They played well. Um, we didn't match it. Uh, they, they did some good things out there, but we realized we have one more game at home here, so that's, that's important for us to win that one. Two shots on goal in the first period is just something you can't have. No, nah, you know, it's not good enough. Um, we're a team that, you know, thrives on second chance opportunities and, and building off shots on net. And when you have two shots, it's, uh, you know, it's deflating and uh, you can't create anything off that. I know you were on the bench with six, six men on the ice, but like, was, you know what happened there? I, mean, I didn't see after, it. After a play I, I didn't see it. I didn't know. Um, I knew before Cooch score that the linesman had called too many men. I didn't see, I didn't look, I didn't even know if it was or was, it was not. You take anything out of the, the third period, picking up two goals? Is yeah, it's good. I mean, we're, we're happy with the way we finished, but, you know, maybe they're sitting back. Who knows? Okay. Okay.